Running a business can be lonely. There's plenty to do, but business leaders need a peer, someone to exchange opinions with, to strategize with, problem solve, and just talk through plans. Yes, you can talk to team members or even clients, but it can be difficult to discuss certain issues. And confident business leaders are looking to be challenged on their thinking and decision making, and that takes a strong, capable counterpart. A board is designed to fulfill exactly this function for a business leader. So why don't more emerging businesses set up and benefit from a board? There are a few reasons. First, new businesses often don't have the resources to appoint and maintain a fully functioning board. Some board members need to be paid for their time, and business cash flow may not allow this. Also, business leaders can get so absorbed in their day-to-day -day activities that they don't find time for strategic thinking. Finally, legislation in some countries has made it quite risky to serve on boards, so many good candidates will hesitate before even considering a board role, especially in an emerging business. A relatively simple alternative to managing a main board is to set up an advisory board. This is a group of subject matter experts whose role is to provide guidance to the leadership team. They do not have the authority to vote on corporate issues. Nor do they have the obligations associated with main board members. Advisory boards can help in various ways, such as providing guidance or even executing projects which internal resources can't handle. Also, advisory board members with impressive accomplishments will enhance the reputation of an emerging business. Most importantly, the advisory board should provide feedback and support to the leadership team, and should enhance decision making. Importantly, an advisory board can decide on any rules that make sense to the business. For example, on issues such as compensation, term of office, board size, meeting schedules, and so on. To set up an advisory board, get clear on your business needs. Then think about the roles advisory board members could fulfill. Find people who can add value and try to recruit them. Set performance indicators for the advisory board to keep people focused and ensure time is spent wisely. The advisory board only works if it's making a leader's job easier, and if it's not working, you can simply dissolve the advisory board. So that's a high-level look at an advisory board, which may add value in your business. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.